Today we're gonna to be making an orange cake that's a favorite from my childhood. I cannot wait to get started. So here's the thing with a good orange cake. The key is all in the ingredients. You gotta go with the real stuff. So go to the store and get some actual fresh oranges because we're gonna be using that. And I'm gonna put a twist to this. If you watch my Montreal vlog, you know that one of the drinks that I had there had the sage simple syrup that was just so incredibly delightful. So I'm thinking putting some of this on top of an orange cake could be a win. Are you ready? Let's do this. So as with all of our vegan baking recipes for cakes, we're gonna do our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients separately. So let's start with the dry ingredients. We have our flour over here. We're gonna add the sugar, some baking powder that's gonna make it grow like this. Some baking soda that's gonna make it grow like this. So we want lots of growth on this cake so it's nice and fluffy. Salt to balance out the sweetness. Mix it all together. Make sure there are no lumps in there. There's nothing worse than when you're making a cake. You just get one bite that's all baking soda. Nobody wants that. Once you have all of these totally mixed, we're gonna get another bowl and we're gonna do our wet ingredients. And if you watch this video over here, you know that oil is one of the things that make your cake really moist. We want this cake to have that. Then we gotta add some almond milk. For me, in my opinion, almond milk is your best choice when it comes to cakes. And it's my go-to when it comes to recipes for cakes. Wow, half of that fell off of the bowl. That's not great. Probably add an extra splash because I'm clumsy. There we go. Let's wipe this because this is not a good look. Take two. So now we're gonna get to the oranges. I don't know about you guys, but I always used my zester this way, like this, right? But then you don't know where the stuff is and how much zest you got. The correct way to zest is actually like this, with this part up because then you know how much you're zesting and you know it's not going anywhere, it's right here. And then when you're done with it, you just get in here and push it in. TikTok taught me. We have our zest, we're gonna put the orange juice in there. So naked orange that we just took the zest out of and we're gonna juice this one. We're gonna juice it actually into another container because there might be seeds, there might be little chunks that fall in and we don't want that here. So you could use a juicer if you have one. I personally just don't care for the extra maintenance that that requires. I used to have a juicer, I probably used it seven times. Cleaning afterwards was just brutal. Actually not much juice at all, so we're gonna do another one. Another one. This together, we're gonna mix it with our dry ingredients. And what's great about this cake too is that we don't have to worry about stacking or building. It doesn't have any layers. It's a very simple cake. So now our batter is done. We don't want to over mix because that's going to turn into a really hard dense cake. That's never good. The grease pan. So we're just going to pour this batter into the grease pan. There. And then you know what? Because it is a batter without any raw eggs or anything like that, I treat myself. Don't tell anyone. We'll check back in in 20 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna make that sage syrup. I have half a cup of sugar already here. We're gonna add half a cup of water. We're gonna put this on medium heat until all the sugar is dissolved. Okay, our sugar is completely dissolved, so now we're gonna add the sage. Just four leaves should be fine. We're just gonna put them in there. For, ooh, I need to go inside the pan though. We're just gonna leave them in for about a minute with the heat on, and then we're gonna take it off the heat, and we're just gonna let it chill for like 20 minutes. We don't want it to be too strong, just enough to leave that flavor behind, but not enough to overpower the orange. The sage is gonna be a side character in this story. The orange should be the main attraction. Bro, oh, we are not ready yet. But what we are ready to do is take these leaves out. Perfect. All right, it's about 30 minutes after the cake. is still warm, but definitely cooler, not hot anymore. Got a plate, I'm gonna put it over here and we're just gonna flip this real quick. 
one smooth motion. Ta-da! Look at that. I told you this is a super simple cake. We're not gonna be stacking anything. We're just gonna be brushing that simple syrup on top here to really soak it in. Mm. Perfection. It's like a whisper of the sage without it being like all sage in your face. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna brush this on top. If you don't have a brush like this, I'll put the link in the description below to uh, one that you can buy really cheaply on Amazon. But if you don't have a brush like this, you can just use a spoon. There you go. There's still some left over here. You can save this. Put it in a mason jar, you can use it in cocktails. This was some gin and some blackberries. That would make a fantastic cocktail, but that's not what we're doing today. So now we're gonna decorate this. I did cut some oranges before. I used to decorate all the cakes for the bakery like this, and it's just my signature kind of style, and I do kind of a half moon pattern. This is so pretty. The combination of the dusty green of the sage with the oranges is just so beautiful. Look at this beauty. There's no way I'm serving this before trying it myself. We're gonna cut into it and I'm gonna have a slice before I bring it to my friends to eat. The smell of orange is all over this kitchen and definitely all over this cake and I cannot wait to taste I love it but Honestly, I think it could be a little bit sweeter. Let's put some powdered sugar on top of this. I'm gonna use a sifter. Now we're talking. Yes. Now that's exactly what it was missing. Just a little bit of extra sugar on top to bring it over the top. I love this cake. It's perfect to have with a little bit of tea. It's like an afternoon snack. It's not overly powerful. It's not overly loud. It's just a classic perfect cake. I absolutely love it and I know my friends will too. So let's pack this up and head over to the park.